What's going on, Slack Rider Gap? Mad Dog here with another Joy of Robo Building episode. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully, pretty good. Alright, uh, I decided that we need to fix some bots. So, last episode, uh, we fixed the claw. Uh, well, I'm just getting chat up real quick and making sure my phone is off so that we don't get interrupted. There we go. Alright. So, we're going to be redoing Hunter Killer Tank here. But, uh, we redid the claw. As you can see here, I went ahead and made it too wider on each side. So, that should be more than enough to grab a robot properly now and uh, eat them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we won't. Uh, we won't know, and I had to change the Seekers to these lasers because they just, they weren't doing enough damage and they were taking up too much CPU and we needed the extra CPU for uh, thrusters for going up and down because that was another issue we were having was uh, being able to get this bot to uh, go down and capture PB people. Hey Xavier, how are you doing today? What was your live stream? That's right. This is all natural. And tomorrow's stream, I'll shave it all off, and by next Friday, boom, it'll be nice and curly again. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, I actually am glad you're here, Xavier, because I was going to ask you uh, what time. Yes, pure sexy. <laughs> uh, what time are you going to be available? Like, are you working today? Or. Because I, as soon as I get off of work, if you want, we can. Uh, we can do our uh, cycle stream that you wanted uh, to do. And for some reason, my tablet kicked me out. Just doing some homework, so you won't be awake like at two or three in the morning. I have no idea what time I'll get home. Should be around there. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get into here. Well, if you happen to be awake when I get off of work, you want to play the cycle? Can be you slept in today? All right. I usually get off really early uh, the, this week, so. All right, guys. Uh, as you can see, here is our hunter killer tank. And unfortunately, we have to delete all of it. So let's delete it first. So we need to improve it. We've been needing to improve this spot for a while. It dies pretty quickly now, but that's because of the new uh, block system, and we need to convert it to heavy blocks, and uh, we're going to upgrade the wheels as well. And then give it a nice shield as well, since it's so slow. Alright. Don't worry guys, I got some reference pictures, so Yeah. This is one of my first early bots that I did, so uh I didn't have all the parts that I could have uh could have to make this build work. So back then it was you had to buy you didn't have to do the tech tree, it was uh buy the parts, so <laughs> yes sir, you got it. We're gonna build some robots. So, uh, let's go ahead and go over the parts that we're gonna be using today. So we are going to be using the heavy cubes here. As you can see, they have much more health than... Probably double the health. I thought it was actually... Huh, they nerfed these actually, because I think it used to be like 10,000. Uh, they're also lighter too, it looks like. They must have realized that it was ridiculously uh, heavier and uh, beefier or something. Yeah, these definitely changed, but that's still going to be a big improvement over what it was. If it has twice the health that it did, that's a good thing. So we're going to be using uh, various different shapes and sizes of heavy cubes. Uh, we might be using some of the rods here. 
or struts. We're going to see if we can do without them, though. Now, we had T4s last time, but we're going to use the T5s now that we have them, so. And then, uh, maybe some thrusters here and there to help with a little bit of speed. <laughs> and, uh, for weapons, we're going to stick with the chain gun, the T4s, and the black cannons wherever they're at there they are right right next to the t4s we're gonna go with the t5 again for the head and then uh we're gonna have some happy little shields here and uh we're also gonna have the disc module we need to incorporate that somewhere in the build so that way we can protect ourselves whenever we're getting attacked so and then uh of course we'll uh, add on some cosmetic parts might put on the balloons again. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely going to add on some of these radars. So, I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, these receiver, large receivers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off with movement first. And don't forget, guys, mirror mode is your best friend. All right. That's right. Uh, okay, we have to turn mirror mode off. Do we have to turn it off? Let's see. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. No, okay, it's good. All right, so about there. There we go. Maybe it was the other way I was putting them, like it wasn't mirroring it correctly, because it looked like it was off by a block. Alright, let's get some heavy cubes. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this whole area. There we go, I like it. And then get this space connected. Bam. All right. Let's fill in the blanks. Now, since we have the room at the bottom, I'm thinking maybe we can get away with putting that part in here. Let's see. How big is the disk module? Ooh. I think that'll be perfect. Yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, let's go back to some heavy cubes. Ah, let's do this instead then. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. gotta make sure that was the heavy cube one. Okay, and there we go. Ooh, I like that. Nice little, cool. we have some like glowy lights under our, our vehicle. Kind of like those nice fancy cars at car shows. Now, my uh, sports car, when I get it back, will not have those fancy lights, but, you know, maybe one day in the future, we'll add some. Alright, I like that. Okay. Now that we have that the way we need it, let's go ahead and get this side skirts on. There we go. like it. And then let's go ahead and get a curved edge here. Why not? Nice slanted edge. And then... Alright, let's see how far out we're going to go with this. I think about there would be good. Uh, I 
Actually, we need to do one more cube out. Sorry. We're going to have it slanted properly. We need to do that and that. And then... Uh, fill in the rest of this. I think one more out would be perfect. And then we can do uh, a pyramid right here. And I already see that we need to make an adjustment to that, but that's okay. So this one is going to need to be of these ones. Bam. There we go. Uh, let me look at my original picture of this to make sure that we're getting that same generalized uh, shape that we want. Yeah, we did something kind of, kind of funky, but one more out so let's go ahead and or you know what we're one too early is what it is so let's do this there we go and now okay that'll work Now we can do this corner piece right here, like so. I like it. And then let's go ahead and get this pyramid back in there. There we go. Now I did have a piece coming out here, so we might as well do that again. Or, hmm, we could fit thrusters in there, so let's, let's do that while we have our own attention. All right, we need, let's do some, oh, this whole line could be thrusters. I like that. Okay, that'll definitely help us with turning and stuff, so. I wonder if I should do this. Let's see, let's do this. And we can put this piece right there. And then we can Do it like that. Yeah, that'll look good. There we go. I like it. That way there's a little protection on our thrusters, huh? Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Now let's see if we can reproduce that in the front. Now how many did we go past the uh, connection point? So one, two, three, four. Okay. Got it. So one, two, three, and a four. And now we can get this bottom row in. There we go. I like it. All right. This is looking good, guys. It's looking real good. Okay. And then, of course, we gotta do that nice pyramid edge right there. 
and let's fill her in now. did I do there? Oh, no, 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 no. I did this piece there. This piece there. Yeah, because I had another row of those. Okay. And then... Then we had these nice little inclined edges right here. There we go. Love it. And then we need this nice little corner piece right here. Alright. And now we just need... Uh, we need... Uh, let's get our movement in there again. So we used T2s. Just so we get a little more thrusting power. Which way did I put those facing? Thrust her toward the outside edge. Got it. <clears throat> there it is. Alright, and then now we get that nice little incline piece again. There it is. I like it. I think this thing already has more health than it did last time. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. Exactly what we wanted. Bam. I like that a lot better. Now, that's a very strong base. Even though it is one line, there are several connection points. So, we should not have an issue. Okay. Now, we need to see how many across this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is the center right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. So this should be the center of the other way as well because Alright, and now we just need to build, build this up. Why do we need to go with this? I'm not too sure yet. It's uh, all up to the chain guns how high we go with this structure, so. But we're already burnt through half of our CPU, so we need to be a little careful. Alright, so now that we have a certain decent height. Let's go ahead and start testing where we need these chain guns at. So they'll fit. Also need to finish this inner edge because that will also whoops, a little rascally cube. Play a factor in the fitting of that. Alright. Let's go and get our chain guns. Looks like just one more row out. I almost had it perfect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I forgot to look. Let's see if we had any red down there. Ooh. Looks like... One, two, three higher? Okay. Can I go three higher? Either three higher or... Out three more? wonder what would be... Yeah, it'd be more cube efficient if we went three higher. Alright, so one, two, three. And then we'll just to be safe. 
go across right there. The spot seems like it's taller than it was. was wide enough. Let us see. Nope. We need... If we didn't have to put it underneath to make it look correctly, we could fit it a lot sooner, but... Let's just go out three more, and then just see where it needs to connect to, uh, to work. Here we are. There works. <coughs> nice. Okay. Some cubes. Now, does this get in the way down here? It does not. Nice. So that's what I wanted was to wrap it. Now that we have those in place, let's get the rest of this up here. Alright. Looking good, guys. We may have to take a few thrusters off to save on CPU, but I think we're going to have just enough. Go ahead and is that the heavy edge? Yes, it is. All right. I want to do one more up, but I think I'm pretty much out of room here. So let's. Let's go ahead and keep it like that, and we'll just make sure we put some happy little shields here. Now, the other thing we need to get on here is the other weapon. Now we gotta make sure this is centered, guys. Alright. And then we can do that, that, and that. Okay, now let's fill in those sides here. Now, it's starting to look like we may not be able to Board, put some happy little shields on here like we wanted to, guys. Oh. Alright. Okay, so we need to put... Heavy cube right there. 
And I have a cube there. Take away some. Uh, let's take away the ones on the end. Cause they're going to be the most vulnerable, anyway. So let's just take away both of them. That way we're not lopsided here. And then if we have enough CPU at the end, we'll put one or two thrusters forward. We didn't even, uh, whoops, we forgot to put the back portion on this. Got a free floating piece over here. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, so we need to do at least one cube out. <clears throat> And now, there it is. <coughs> Alrighty, guys. Looks like we were able to do this again, so. Uh, da da da. Yeah, it's definitely a lot taller than it was. I think I made this wider, too, on purpose, but... I'm not going to be able to put the shield in the front like I wanted to, but... Hmm. Let's test it out real quick to see if it's more important to... Matt Damon. <laughs> you should have been an engineer, my friend. Eh... Uh... I don't know about that. I just enjoy building things for the fun of it. I'm not sure if I would uh, enjoy it as much if I had to uh, do it in real life. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is an issue. It's not as stable as it used to be. Turns a lot slower. Oh no. I think I have a quick fix for that though. Not gonna be a pretty fix, but. I think that's why I went down with these uh, pieces on the side here in the original design. Alright. So on the sides here... We need to go down more with the cubes. And then there we go. Uh, we're not gonna have enough cubes, are we? It's not to make it look nice and neat. All right. Um. 
He needs a heavy edge. Mm, we're gonna have to get w rid of one more set of thrusters under here. Darn. So let's get rid of the two center ones. And then at least we can do like thrusters forward too. Should have enough CPU left after this to uh, do that. Actually, let's see if we don't even need those pieces sticking out. Those look kind of bad, don't they? Alright. Let's drive it again. Well, it's it's not about being lazy, Xavier. It's about being... Uh, I can only uh, go up to 2,000 CPU, so... And that seems to have fixed the issue. Didn't flip over. Ah, okay, we can't make super sharp turns. More gradual. More gradual. More gradual. <laughs> turns really sharp when you do the uh there's some uh like strafing buttons here there you can just turn in place but if you have momentum and then you push one of those you slide really quickly around hmm. all right now let me test <laughs> yeah i know you are <laughs> uh let's just test uh with um those triangle pieces out like I was thinking so we can make them look good it's just uh, it's a little harder to do but all right so we need this Let's just see what that does for it. And if that works, then we will uh, make that look better. If that doesn't do anything for it, then we'll just nix it. I just want to test it real quick to see which method is better. At least this bot wasn't as complicated to recreate as the last one, so. All right. Seems like I'm slower now. Oh, the kickstand works. <laughs> Can't knock the kickstand, right? Yeah. All right now I can go quicker into combat. Yep, without any worries. There we go. All right. Now it looks like we'll have to use a lot more cubes, so we may only have enough room for one thruster. So we'll put it in the back to give us more forward momentum. Yeah, I, I enjoy the building aspect of this game a lot. I enjoy the combat of it, but I enjoy building more. And that's what's kind of been taken away from the game, is that people just... They just do whatever now in this game, so it's like, uh, come on guys, like, use your creativeness instead of just building something that works, you know? Okay, now we have to get interesting with this. What can we do to make this look right? Really would prefer to, um, let's 
Hit me backwards though. I think I have a solution. Alright. So let's do that. And then we can do this. A solution that looks good at least. And I'll give it a little more life too. Yeah. That looks a lot better. Okay. Alright, so we need to do this first. And this one needs to be the opposite of that. There we go. And now, bam, bam, bam. There we go. I like that a lot better. Now this one's going to be a little easier to do on the edges, but the other way we're going to have to do something similar again. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put that in there now. Same thing with that. And then... Well, actually, it's looking like we're not even going to have enough room for the, uh, the one single thruster I wanted. That's okay. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, so we do that. Get rid of that, that, and that. And we switch you to this, to this, and then bam, bam. Ah! Ask your little cube, doing what you wanted. There we go. And we're exactly at 2,000 CPU as well. So if someone blasts these corn all of these corners off on one side, then we won't be able to turn fast. So, But their goal will be to shoot at this area right here. So if they disconnect me from this, then I'm screwed anyway. So uh, I'm just sad that we couldn't put any happy little shields on here. But we should still be able to put... Uh, our balloons back on. There we go. You gotta have some balloons on your Terminator. Or it's not the same. Alright, one more test drive. And then... I think we're all set. We're good. That's all we needed right there. Yep, we're good. Now let's try going up some rough terrain. That will be the uh, true test of this. so far I like the speed of it too I thought I guess yeah oh. <laughs> got too much uh, underneath momentum okay so no jumping got it which we shouldn't be doing with this thing anyway and I don't think we can climb this so let's just see nope but it didn't flip over when we attempted. That's good. I really like it. This came out very nice. But weapons work nicely. It doesn't seem like we're flipping over either from our backfire. Because we had that issue too. 
Now that we have the heavy cubes, we don't uh, flip over as easy from shooting our weapons. Uh, yes I do. Uh, I'll, uh, if I have the time. Which, uh, this build did not take as long as I thought to recreate, so we're gonna have time to test it against both AI and real people, so. Let us get the colors, though. We gotta make sure we have the right colors, guys. Alrighty. So, there's not too many uh, different colors on here, guys, so... Actually, that needed to stay... Gray. I think these were black? Yeah. And I think that was it. Because this bot's mostly just silver. From the movie, so... There's not really a lot of... Uh, a lot of color to it. I did do black on the shield bits, but unfortunately, we can do at least black on that. Not that you can really see it too much, but all right. Well, let's go give uh, this a test drive and see how it does. That was easy, huh? New and improved. Making sure that it doesn't flip over. I, oh, well, I guess that wouldn't help. I was like, I could have done the skid plates inside, but I don't think that would have helped for the outer edge. So we had to put them on the outer edge. Kind of makes the design a slight bit funky, but it's not too bad. So I'm happy with it. Well. The reason why I'm not going with other colors is because I'm making... This is the hunter-killer tank from the uh, Terminator movies, so... The giant ones that would hunt them in the future. So that's the reason why I'm keeping the color scheme the same as that from the movies, so... You can see the resemblance, right? I mean, it's a little different up in here, like in the chest area and stuff like that, but I mean, this is... This is uh, what I can do with the limitations of this game. So I get it as close as I can to it. Alright, now let's go to single player. Uh, thin atmosphere, low gravity, clear weather. Ooh. So we'll see how the tank handles in thin atmosphere and low gravity. So, first. <laughs> Skynet should hire me. Uh, yeah. Even if Sky Skynet hired me, I think I would reject the job just because, uh... Yeah, I don't want all mankind to die, so... <laughs> You're limited by your range. That's great. Oh yeah, this is working great. I haven't got a single kill yet, but I've been doing a lot of damage. So, thin atmosphere is also making me lose contact with the ground a lot. So. Their box at.
that energy. It's okay, I'm not gonna get always get the kills, but at least I'm doing all the damage. So we got eh, third highest damage. Our bot seems to be the best against uh, <clears throat> flyers, so and half the time there's flyers in the matches, so or majority of the time actually now. Everybody likes to run drones, so. There we go. Now let's go ahead and test it against the real players. Thank you for your luck, sir. As you can see, the Hunter Killer tank did just fine, but this is still a very vulnerable point right here. I mean, but that's why I have two of them, so if they do blow off one of my arms, then I still got the other, and then I still have this, at least. I still wish they had limited how many parts you can put on a robot. Or at least three weapons and one equipment slot or something. I mean, you can do an additional equipment, but it takes up your weapon slots. So I think that would have been more fair. Because there's some builds it was like, I needed four at least, but oh well. All right, what are the conditions for this? Then normal atmosphere, nice. Normal gravity. It's get, visibility's gonna be limited. Ugh. Alright. I don't like these matches too much because of the fog, but we'll see. It said mist, but I think it's gonna be look more like fog. I guess while we're at it too, as soon as this match is over with, we'll uh, we'll give the claw another test run because um, while it's normal conditions, we can see how it uh, how it will finally fly. Because I was trying to test it the other day when I fixed it, and um, uh, they kept doing thin atmospheric conditions, and I could not test it properly. It does not work good in thin atmosphere, like it floats too much and I need to be quick when I'm trying to nab somebody. Oh my goodness. Players keep kiss connecting on this. It's so annoying. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Ooh that mortar's gonna destroy me. That would probably be the worst thing for me. The mortar and the the two shotgun people are going to hurt really bad, too. Ouch. It's an elimination mode, so there's no getting restored or nothing. So I need to stick toward the back and just be uh, kind of like an artil artillery person. Like, distance damage from afar, so that way the enemy can't uh, hurt me as often. I didn't see any rails. Did, did we see any rails? There's three melee guys, four melee guys in my team though, so I need, to be, I need to be careful of that. The second they touch me, I'm doing it. For Vanguard's end has begun. Just follow the bubbles. Bubbles! Pretty much 
<laughs> I thought he was going to finish me off. talking about. Melee is my biggest weakness because I cannot get away from it quickly. Hey! Need some guns. the third highest uh, damage rating of everybody. Only got one kill, but two assists. <laughs> Best played. And... I'm gonna get best look into him as well. out just as nice as I wanted it to so I'm very happy with that design now let's retest the new and improved uh, the claw as well so that way we can see if I need to modify it one more time or what it's gonna be hard to modify that anymore though I would have to make it one more wider on each side and I'm not sure if I can accomplish that without taking off some parts, so. So, we'll see what happens here. Alright, let's test out the claw and see how it does against actual people. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I did well till that melee guy almost obliterated me. He just swooped down at the perfect moment and almost got me. But of course, uh, that wasn't the smartest thing to do when I'm surrounded by my allies, so... Hence why you have to be very careful when you pick your targets when you're a melee guy, because you need to be able to plan to get away. So... That's the only problem I have with this uh, design is that uh, it's kind of light, but I had to make it light in order for the uh, hovers to work properly. So, but with the melee, it's just like, hmm, I bounce off of it too much. But I did add the thrusters, so I haven't gotten a chance to test it to see if those will help me stay on a target. 
So we'll find out in a second here. <laughs> Alright. So guys, as soon as I get home in the morning, I will be uh, streaming again. Uh, as long as you're awake, Xavier, we'll do the cycle. If you happen to fall asleep, it's okay, man. I'll, uh, I'll do something else. Probably do the forest or something, because so, we need to do some more building on there. We need to get uh, some traps set up, because we're starting to get a lot more activity from the cannibals in that game, so... I love that picture of the hamster on the Xbox controller. It's great. All right. Pretty much everything can hurt me, so there's not really something I'm trying to avoid. It's mostly trying to just. The battle for Vanguard's end has begun. where they come from. Whoa, they're eliminating people already. the uh, enemies were dead by the time I got over there and then the only person I got to attack was a very awkwardly shaped bot so hmm. we still may need to do one wider just to in for all these weird shaped bots there are these days Let's do one more test with it and see how it does. If it's still kind of wonky, I'll have to... I think what I'll do is I'll take off the lasers, but then I'll put on the next up lasers, because then it'll still give us more CPU, but uh, not take up as much. Does that make sense? So my fire rate will be a lot less, but... one more time. really wish we could uh, do a different map, but... Hmm. It's just so hard. Like, I, I wanted to make like the crane portion of the claw, because that's basically what this design is kind of copying, is like those old-fashioned crane games that would go into, you know, to get the stuffed animal at the arcades. And, um, I don't know, I, I think I had to eliminate that hole back in and just put everything on the claws. And that's gonna be so hard to do, and basically you blow off any part of it and the majority of my life is gone. 
That's why I like that the majority of the stuff is in the back. So that way, yeah, you blow off my arms, I can still get away, you know, hopefully someone heal me. But, um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe this design's just more meant for looks than it is for actual combat, so. I prefer to have a bit of both, but it just doesn't seem like this design's going to work. The only other thing I could think of to do would be instead of hovers, do wings, but that would at least make it quicker. But, and then I could attack uh, guys in the air and then I wouldn't need the lasers and then I could uh, possibly add on a fourth hook if I do it like that. But flying in this game is so hard to do sometimes. I might do like a copy of my bot and see how that works. Test it out by switching out the hovers for uh, wings instead. music is catchy, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Easy, Guido. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. The battle for Vanguard's end has begun. See what I mean? Like, guys that do that. Um... There we go. I'm not sure why my controls weren't working for a minute there. That was weird. Definitely did grab that one guy. Thank you. Oh, that's all you're gonna heal me? Okay. I kind of do need to uh, switch to a um, I like the way he looks. He probably played the best. All right, yeah, we need to. Hmm, I think we need to switch it to a flyer. I think that's what the issue is. We switch it to a flyer and then 
do like a bottom hook because then we can just go over the top of them and go like that and it doesn't matter and then we should be able to just like hold them down while we destroy them so guys well thank you all so much for joining me today uh, still need to work out some more kinks with this one or it just needs to be for looks you know? I mean I do like the way it came out it came out beautifully I love the way it looks compared to the other one now but unfortunately it still doesn't have enough grab hmm. the other problem I think might be is this part right here is getting caught on robots so I may need to figure out a different method of shielding right here that'll work. I don't know. I'll have to see who the options are for there, but alrighty. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in the morning, Xavier. So as soon as I get off of work, guys, it should be around 3 o'clock in the morning. Not sooner than that. Uh, I should be uh, on here streaming for you guys, so... Alright, this is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Thank you, Ultimate RX. Oh, oh sorry. Ultimatium RX, which is AKA Xavier, my buddy, for stopping by. Whoever's lurking in the background, appreciate you lurking. And yeah, uh, don't forget to howl at the moon with me, guys, as we uh, leave for the evening. Bye! <laughs>